First time hearing about all that. Uh, maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true! Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the Magistrate one day, not gonna lie. I understand your concern, Rover. Madame Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected to be the Magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, Many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madame Jinshu because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madame Jinsi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. Uh, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? The Norfolk Barons? It's been a battlefield since ancient times. Rover, it's dangerous there. The Norfolk Barons is the front line in our defense against the Thronodian. We must be careful about going there. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? They sent two overseers at once. Their scheme must be far more expansive than we thought, though the Fraxidas do seem to know a lot about you. Their ideology and actions are too dangerous, and right now, the odds are in their favor. If we rush into a confrontation, it could lead us into their traps. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? The Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. This flower... It's only a photo, and I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Still in the dark about Fraxida's plans, and the Norfolk Barons is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now, but if we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower, it's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her. <gasps> There's still some time before the next session. Here are some books to keep you entertained before that. Dear listeners, so you want to learn more about that battle. They say storytelling inevitably carries some subjective bias, all to enhance the ebb and flow of the narrative. But when it comes to the battle beneath the crescent, we typically avoid adding any of our personal commentary, focusing instead on accurately retelling history. But even just telling the story carries a heavy emotional weight. Was Geshu Lin truly an unforgivable sinner? Was General Jian the perfect hero? The sudden onset of the Retroact Reign, the decision of our Sentinel, and the timing behind this series of events. <sighs> I guess it will be up to future generations to figure it all out. <laughs> oh, hello! Xisha, Yang Yang, what brought you here? Hey, Grandma Lin, we're here for.
for some stories today. And here's our new friend. Ta-da! We've got the ultimate badass here. The one who can crush TDs, cook up echoes, knock Inferno Rider flat, and KO Phalian Baringle with a single punch. The legendary Rover. <laughs> so you are the famous Rover. Oh, youngsters these days are really something. Grandma Lynn, since you're the flower expert, I got a favor to ask. Have you seen flowers like this one before? Hmm, I'm familiar with most of the flowers local to Jinjo, but this one, oh, it doesn't match anything we have here. I don't think I've seen anything similar, not even in the plant and Oh no, if not even a flower expert like you can recognize it, who else could help us? Oh. Chisha, I'm far from an expert. We've got a plant-type resonator here in Jinjo, remember? She knows the plants much better than me. Oh, are you talking about that young lady? I always see her helping out at your store. Yes, she has been a great help. She knows a lot about everything plant-related. And she is such a sweet child. Her smiles always make me happy. She reminds me of the lovely star flowers. I'd call out to her, little star flower, it's dinner time. And she'd always answer with her brightest smile. What a lovely girl. She's probably up in the back mountain doing some field research. I said I wanted a field in the back mountain to plant my flowers, and she offered to help right away. That's where she is now, checking it out. Go in that direction, and soon you'll see a waterfall. Walk right through the waterfall, then you'll reach the back mountain. Thank you so much, Grandma Lynn. Oh, any time, dearie. Don't forget to visit my Penjing shop. I'll have treats ready for you. <sighs> this should be the shortcut to the Bat Mountain. Once we cross the waterfall, we'll reach Mount Pingting. <laughs> the flowers seem to be showing us the way. Let's follow it. I should have introduced myself first. I know it's a polite thing to do in Huanlong. It is. It is a delight to make your acquaintance. I am Verena. My pressure to have the opportunity to meet with you today. Uh, really? 
But that flower next to you said she likes you a lot. <laughs> Plants don't lie. I trust their words, so you can't be bad guys. Hi, Verena. I'm Chisha. This is Yang Yang, and he's Rover. Grandma Lin told us we should come find you. <laughs> oh, right. Grandma Lin talked about you. I left those flowers so she knows how to reach me. What seems to be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with... We're looking for a special flower. Hmm, it's an unusual flower indeed. Pure black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can't rule out the possibility that it's been dyed. When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. It's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's native to the New Federation, and Huanlong people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower! It's a single petal flower with a similar stamen length. But the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle, while this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff! I learned a lot from that! Anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature, so I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it, too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone. We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now, do I automatically become one of them? Shizya, wait, what did you just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? If this black flower is indeed their symbol, the black shore members should immediately notice it on you, but to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower. Given that, if they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see. But how do we get our hands on one? Um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability, if you just need something that looks similar. Verena, you can do it. No way! That's amazing, seriously! It looks exactly like the flower in that picture. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's friggin' amazing! Could you do that again? Please! I love it! for a while now. They're scattered all over the place. I'm pretty sure they're not made by Miss Verena. The streams have been disrupted. Someone has been following us. Rover, are you sure you want us to leave? It could be dangerous for you. Okay. Trisia and I will wear these black flowers and go look for members of the black shores in the city. Rover, please be careful. Ring us anytime when you need help. The 
at Fraxidus. What are they doing in a place like this? Damn that woman. Always getting in our way. And what are you doing here? Get lost! I'll have to take them down first. Swift and resolute. The sounds. The weird noises persist. They're coming after me. If I climb up to that point, I should be able to get behind that person. <laughs> Better hide here for now. Looking for me? Oh, here you are. You're such a box full of surprises. So we're playing truth or dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? Sorry, but it's just so much fun to rile you up. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target after all. Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. This Blake Bloom is our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's what it says in the rules, at least. Our plans? Hmm. What is it again? Oh, to recruit as many talents as we can and save the world from its impending doom. So are you in? Nah, uh I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going Boom, tomorrow. Why not have fun while we can? To stop at nothing for more power. Take down any prey without mercy and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. Well, I mean, I'd love to live that way. But alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits, and we'll make you the most special seed among them all. My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to blossom into luscious fruits. Then, once the fruit ripens, I'll get to pick it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. <laughs> I like how cold you sound. You're tempting me to push your buttons a bit more. Relax, relax. I'll behave for the time being. 
No need to be so on edge. I won't do anything strange to you, I think. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. I got rid of all types of pests that tried to get in your way. Ew, don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games, but if they even think of laying their dirty fingers on you, <sighs> you're mine, and I don't like sharing. Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Whoa, don't tell me you haven't noticed. Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden? You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Well, I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Nothing in particular. The way you look at me, though, it's almost as if... No, forget about it. But I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. I can feel something oddly familiar about you. My name is Camellia. Try not to let me catch you so easily next time. And she's gone. Huh. That was fast. Rover, what took you so long to answer? Did something happen? Is that a friend or a foe? Are you hurt? The Black Shores. Did she tell you anything? Phew. At least you're safe. Shizya noticed a guy acting suspicious. I think she's keeping an eye on him. Sure. We are in the shopping district. See you then.